We often refer to angina in the context of a severe blockage or narrowing in a heart artery. But as it turns out, there are several ways that you can have angina unrelated to a blockage or narrowing in a heart artery. One of those is dysfunction of the microcirculation. There is millions of microscopic blood vessels that penetrate down into the heart muscle itself. And it's within these microscopic arteries that the primary resistance to blood flow resides. So we are now able through new technologies to assess the microcirculation. Coraflow allows us to measure the increase in coronary blood flow when we inject the same type of medicine that's used to do a chemical stress test as an outpatient. So in terms of the benefits to the patient, we can actually give them a very accurate diagnosis. And it's very important when microvascular dysfunction is identified that you can then intervene with all the things that we talk about in terms of preventing heart disease in the first place. So by modifying these known risk factors, we can favorably impact symptoms.